The following screencast is part two in our series of fine cycle peak detector demonstrations. In this demonstration, I am using a respiration signal that was taken from a human subject using a respiration transducer placed around the subject's chest. And I'm using this because it's a convenient waveform to demonstrate the features of the cycle detector. What I'm going to show in this demonstration is how to place an event marker at the peak of each cycle and place a marker there. Do the same at the minimum point of the cycle and place a marker there and then use those two events to locate another event on the waveform. So to start with, I've highlighted one representative cycle. Select peak. I'm going to say it's a negative going um, peak. And I've got my threshold set to zero because that's pretty much in the center of my signal. And on output, I'm going to turn my output events on. I'm going to place a mark or an event mark at the maximum point on the respiration signal and I'm going to use the maximum marker which is an upward arrow and the marker will be located right on the waveform itself. And I'm select OK, select all my data and then find all the cycles. Now we've got a nice arrow, upward arrow on each of my waveforms. I'm going to do the same again, only this time so I can go from peak to peak because I'm interested in the valley down below. Let's come in here. Uh, zero my output. This time I'm looking for the minimum and I'm going to use minimum which is a downward arrow and it's going to place the arrow on the respiration signal. Hit OK and I'm selecting all the data. I'm going to hit find all cycles and if we condense everything down. So now we've got event marks identifying both the peak and the minimum values. So to take this a step further, I'm now going to ask the software to identify these two marks and pick out a place in between the two. So I'm just going to highlight some data open the dialog up. This time instead of locating a peak I'm actually locating an event and I want to find maximum marker on my respiration and I'm going to find the minimum on the same signal. Move over you can see the dark area over here is already highlighting the part that I'm interested in. I'm going to hit OK. Select all my data again. Come back in. So now we know we're selecting the correct area. I'm going to go back into events. I'm going to look at the left edge. And I'm going to look for a percentage of peak to peak change. And I'll use 40% decrease. And I'm going to mark it with a star. And I'm going to mark it on the respiration signal. I'm going to hit OK. So I've already selected all my data. I'm going to say find all cycles. Now if we compress our data down, we now have an event marker in. 
marking the point of interest. <coughs> Now we can take this a step further, can highlight an area, come back in, I'm going to look for an event, I'm looking for a star, and So I'm going from one star to the next, and I'm going to turn events off, list measurements into a journal, hit OK, and I'm going to turn off Each of these. Oops. So now I'm going to set this to value and 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 now the software is going to jump from star to star. I'll clear, oops, if I clear this out. The software ran through and went from one star to the next and took the value at the right star. So this gives you a quick demonstration of how the software or the find cycle peak detector can identify specific events within the waveform and place an event marker that can be used for further analysis. And that concludes this part of our demonstration.